In our last video, we managed to create a guest wireless network in our network location using Netgear Insight. In this video, we will be expanding the network. For our network expansion, we are going to add the Power of Ethernet capable switch GC510P. and a second PoE-powered access point, WAC510. Once the devices have booted up completely and while connected to our Wi-Fi Insight Test A, to add the switch, tap on the plus icon on the top right of the app, and then tap on Scan Network. We are going to select the switch first. We are going to assign this switch to the network location lab. And rename it to switch B. Tap next. And then on continue. Tap on View Devices to see the progress. Tap again on the plus icon on the top right of the app to add the second wireless access point. Scan the network once again. Select the access point and tap on Next. Assign the AP to our network location lab and name this access point APB. All wireless access points in the network location will receive identical configurations, which makes this very easy. Remember to be patient during the rebooting periods. It may take a little while. Once APB shows us connected, it will begin to broadcast the two SSIDs that we have configured for this network location. But for the guest wireless to function, we need to configure our guest VLAN 8 on both of our switches. Tap on Switch B and then on VLANs in use. Tap on the guest VLAN. Scroll down and tap on Port Members. We can manage the ports of both switches for this VLAN right here. Select the ports that connect switch A and switch B and the port connecting the new AP. Those are ports 3 on switch A and ports 5 and 8 on switch B. Then click on Trunk Port and Save to apply the changes. This configuration shouldn't require a reboot, and after a moment, all SSIDs will function as expected. That is how easy it is to configure and expand a network location using Netgear Insight. For this and other topics, please visit us at community.netgear.com.